Death is not the biggest fear we have. Our biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive. The risk to be alive and express what we really are. Don Miguel Ruiz Many of the self-help books that we idolize today and look to for help are based on the cultures and thought patterns of ancient civilizations far advanced for their time. In The Four Agreements, author Don Miguel Ruiz draws from the wisdom of the indigenous Mexican Toltec people and their beliefs. But why would we need these four agreements? What purpose do they serve? As children, we are domesticated. We don't have a choice in many of the things that you experience in your early life. Your parents, teachers, religion, and peers set all the rules for us, and we are expected to uphold them with little power to adjust them or to make them our own. Eventually, we are so domesticated by 15 to 20 years of this treatment that we continue to do it ourselves. If you have the habit of mentally punishing, judging, or blaming yourself, this is a direct result of your domestication. So how do you break this cycle? You follow a set of agreements with yourself. The first of the Toltec agreements is be impeccable with your word. Words are powerful. Both internal and external dialogues shape the way we view events. When speaking to yourself, do you judge and blame yourself? Are you overly hard on yourself? This can put a negative shade on everything that you do and make it impossible to succeed. Time and time again, researchers have found that positive thinkers tend to live longer, healthier lives than their negative counterparts. Taking care of yourself begins with taking care of your thoughts and how you speak to yourself. This applies to how you speak to others as well. Avoid spreading gossip, lies, and speaking empty promises. Words spoken without thinking can cause harm to others without us realizing it. It is obvious how screaming at somebody might affect them, but gossiping behind someone's back and taking digs and low blows can hurt just as much. This agreement promotes saying only what you mean and meaning only what you say. If you don't know if your words will be helpful or harmful, aim for the side of caution and say nothing at all. The second agreement is don't take anything personally. The last time you got cut off in traffic, how did you act? How about the last time a coworker made a snide comment about you or your work? What about when a guy in the fast food counter was rude or dismissive when taking your order? The second agreement is all about not letting these things or people bug you. It is easy to mull over the rude, inconsiderate actions of others. We replay the event in our head over and over, thinking about how we would have liked to have reacted, thinking, how could they treat me like that? By realizing that the other person's actions reflect on them, not on you, you can move past these situations and not take them personally. Ruiz promotes developing a strong sense of self. If you know who you are and understand your worth, then comments and viewpoints of others will slide off your back easier. The third agreement don't make assumptions. You know the saying about assuming, right? It makes an ass out of you and me. This is exactly what the third agreement is all about. Even your closest friends and family members probably have much different political views, motivations, aspirations, worldviews, and experiences than you do. Making assumptions about what they are thinking or why they did something can lead to conflict and hurt feelings for no good reason. Try to view events with an open mind and without labeling it or judgment. Instead of assuming, ask questions to clarify things. This is the only way to get the answers that you need. The fourth and final agreement, always do your best. If you approach every day and every situation with the commitment to do your best, you will have nothing to regret and nothing to be ashamed of. Ruiz notes that it is important to understand your best will vary from day to day and even depending on both the conditions within you and those around you. The point is to do what you can, with what you have, from where you are. By doing this, you'll be able to walk proudly with your head up, knowing that you gave it all. Remember, death is not the biggest fear we have. Our biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive. The risk to be alive and express what we really are. The four agreements shine light onto how self-limiting beliefs that are developed in childhood continue to rob us of joy and create needless suffering throughout our lives. The Code of Conduct the Four Agreements presents helps us to break free from these beliefs 
and find happiness and fulfillment. Did you enjoy our summary of the four agreements? Do you have a book that you'd like to see us summarize and animate? Leave your ideas in the comments below and your book might just be our next video. Also, while you scroll down, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like the video and want to help out our channel. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll get notified whenever we release new videos.